the federal government says the $700 million credit obtained from the World Bank will be used to fund the ag agroclimatic resilience in semi-arid landscape projects. Speaking at a workshop in Lagos, Minister of the Environment, Mohamed Abdullahi, says the project will enhance sustainable livelihoods in Nigeria. We have more in this report. In recent years, the Nigerian government has established several initiatives to combat land desertification, climate change issues, and habitual losses in the semi-arid areas of the country. Agroclimatic resilience in semi-arid landscapes, ACRISAL, is a six-year strategic project that aims at increasing the sustainability of landscape management practices in semi-arid areas and improving integrated climate resilience in the northern region. So would it make it possible for all of us to be here? The Minister of Environment at a technical workshop organized for the Ministries of Environment, Agriculture and Water Resources in conjunction with the World Bank said the project will provide food security rejuvenate wetlands and ensure access to water. Land reclamation, we hope to, because of the, of the nature of the dry lands in northern Nigeria, uh, even the savannah grassland is fast receding. So what we intend to do uh, is to recover those lands, to try as much as we can to make them cultivatable. And then of course the watershed management is about ensuring that our wetlands are rejuvenated you know, to provide necessary support for community fisheries, access to water, etc. Delegates from the World Bank say the project will be implemented across various levels of government and is expected to help reduce the issues of land conflicts at communal level. The design of the project is to cover the arid and semi-arid parts of the country, so the entire northern state in Nigeria including the FCT, is part of this project. And um, the project will be implemented at the national level, the state level, even at the community. If you look at um, Nigeria, the security issues, I, I often say that you can link this issue with um, climate change, because once climate change is leading to land degradation, drought, people tend to migrate. If Nigeria can be able to protect her land and restore her degraded land, preventing migrations, it will, it will give rise to conflict resolution in Nigeria and as well bring unity as well to Nigerian people. The minister says the project is one of the central components in President Muhammadu Buhari's strategy of ensuring environmental stability.